this is Viv and welcome to my YouTube channel, Viv's Mustard Seed Faith. And today I'm going to share my testimony, which I've not done a lot. So enjoy. I hope, you know, God can show you something from this. Um, a little bit about me, you know, good Christian family, good Christian parents, um, always grew up in church. And for me, I always knew that there was a God and that Jesus is real. And when I was about um, seven, everybody around me, like all of my friends, were getting saved. And so um, I said, of course, <laughs> that I was saved and that I wanted that, you know. But one thing about that is I did not have a relationship with Jesus. And that's what being saved is about, is not just saying, oh, I'm saved. Um, no, it's actually um, pursuing God and building that relationship with Him. And for me, I didn't do that. I just said that I was saved and I didn't produce any fruit through my faith. Um, I was just a kid, you know, just doing what kids do. Everybody else was around, like, doing that. And so I said I did that. And um, it wasn't until much, much later that I actually did get saved. And that was about when I was 12 or 14, I can't remember. Um, but I actually, you know, I asked God to come into my heart and I asked him to forgive me of all the sins that I've committed. And um, I actually surrendered and I started to build that relationship with Christ. And that's what being Christian's about. And um, for me, um, it wasn't always perfect. My life was not perfect. Um, I'm not perfect, obviously, anybody that knows me. Um, I'm a goofball, and I love life. And I play golf here, and I'm involved in, like, young life and different things, and I have amazing friends here. Um, and I really think that my testimony can help a lot of people because throughout my life, I've dealt with anxiety and depression, and that's what I'm going to kind of get into. Is um, My freshman year of high school, I just kind of said, God, I've got this. Just step back, let me be in control, I can do it. That was a big mistake, obviously. Um, and I just kind of started leaning on myself to get myself through and what I could do for myself. And I had a big plan for my life. I was gonna be a nurse and all this. And, you know, it was kind of like God was just sitting back and saying, if only you knew, child, if only you knew what I had in store for you, if you would just let me guide you and take over, you would just, you would see. And I did not want to relinquish that control. And so one thing that Satan really used to get me down was anxiety and depression. And, you know, you hear those words and you're like, oh, anxiety and depression. Ugh. But little do you know that a lot of people of all ages deal with these things and for me anxiety was a huge thing um i was constantly really anxious about everything like fearing what was going to happen things that were out of my control i was a control freak kind of still am just a little bit um and you know i let that run wild and i didn't you know hand that to god i didn't leave it at the cross and satan really used that to steal a lot of god's glory or try to and um, I, you know, I kind of distanced myself from a lot of people in high school. And um, I went through a period in my freshman year where I was just so low and everything was so dark in my life. And it wasn't anything my parents did or my friends or anything like that. It was just something that God had in his plan to build me into the Christian woman that I am today. And one thing I did was... I um, I self-harmed and I um, thought about taking my own life. I really thought that nobody was there for me and that I was completely alone and that, um, you know, nobody loved me and that, um, you know, not even Jesus could save this mess. And, um, you know, I reached a really, really dark place in my life. And that's something that I don't talk about a lot. Um, and that is kind of crazy for some people to hear is that I was depressed and that I did have a problem and like it's absolutely insane how much God has turned my life around and how happy I am now and the joy that I have in my heart because of Christ 
And that's something so amazing to look back and see that I was once so far away from God and that I was running so far from Him and that I did not want to let anybody know how broken I was. He didn't care. He still chose me every day. And no matter what the lies I was believing and what lies I was telling myself, His truth and His mercy still reigned over me and my life. And He had such a good plan for me. And, um, you know, I found my identity in a lot of different things. And identity, you know, struggles, I can go a lot on that. Um, but, you know, once I realized or once God had showed me where my life had gone and where he could take me it was a matter of surrendering again and um one verse that absolutely speaks truth over my life is psalm 61 1 and 2 and it says hear my cry O god attend to my prayer from the end of the earth i will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i and for me, I had just gotten really, really overwhelmed. I let my circumstances um, define me and I found my identity in basketball or, you know, good grades or whatever. And something that God showed me is that that's not where our identity is. Um, he is our identity. He's the one that calls us beautiful child, you know. He calls us loved and mercy. He's poured mercy into us. and. He's given us an identity as a child of Christ. And that's just something that I couldn't see with everything going on. And um, just my parents constantly being there for me and several friends back home um, checking on me and like really um, pouring into me and stuff. I gradually, you know, got better. And one thing that absolutely radically changed is that I shifted my focus. My focus um, during this time was on me. Poor me, ah, oh, yada, 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 nobody loves me. You know, the whole works and just believing that I was alone and it was shifting my focus back where it needed to be, which was on Christ. And he, um, he showed me that I'm never alone and that I am cherished to the point of where he sent his son to die for me and for you. And that's a common lie that a lot of people believe is oh, I'm alone. And one thing that I can't, I can't constantly say was, I'm so lonely, God. I'm so lonely. And it was just kind of like, God is saying, I miss you too, Viv. I really, really missed you. And so, you know, he was constantly working in my life. And there's several verses that, um, you know, he, he really used to shape me into who I am and to really build up. Um, my faith and another one was in Psalms and it was Psalm 64 4 and it says I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all of my fears and that's just amazing that is so cool that I was searching so hard for something and God was there the whole time and the moment I started searching for him he was there I didn't have to fight to find him. I didn't have to, you know, give up something. It, no, he was there. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all of my fears. And that is exactly what happened. You know, um, he took that anxiety and that depression and he used it as a part of my testimony to talk about to people and to let them know that they're not alone, that, you know, they're so loved and so cherished. And there's several other verses um, that he just constantly, you know, reminded me of and constantly um, poured into me and, you know, kept speaking over me. And um, another one was in Psalm and it was in Psalm 94, 19. It said, in the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. And that's the coolest thing about anxiety is that the only cure, the only way to get better through Jesus and he gives us a peace and a comfort in knowing him and yeah we're human all of us struggle and I'm sure you're looking at me you would never have guessed that I had anxiety and depression and I almost took my life once upon a time but that's the coolest thing about Christ is that he takes the broken and he makes them beautiful with time and he makes them into the beautiful children of God that we are. 
and he uses our stories to help others and that is so amazing that he did that for me and I'm sure he's doing it in many many others and that I don't have to be embarrassed about what I went through or that I don't have to be embarrassed about you know struggling I'm human and I make mistakes and so does everybody else but we serve a God that is so good that he will constantly chase your heart down every single day and that he will never stop pursuing you and he'll never stop pursuing me. No matter how many, you know, mess ups I have, no matter what I do, there's nothing that I could ever do to make him love me less. And for me, I mean, that changed my life. I mean, like it was just amazing. And Isaiah 41, 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Um, if you call on him, if you seek him, he's there. He's there to help you. He wants to be a part of your life, and he wants to lift you out of this darkness that you're in and bring you into the light and you can find comfort in him and nothing that you've done in your past can't be forgiven i mean he sent his perfect son to die for you and all of your sins the sins in secret the sins i mean that everybody has he loves you regardless and that he forgives you and he casts those sins as far as the east is from the west and he loves you so unconditionally and there's so many verses in the bible that i would want to talk about but one thing that i do want to talk about is identities and um like i said i found my identity in a lot of different things that just weren't right um earthly things and he constantly showed me that i'm forgiven i'm created i am purposed i am holy i'm loved i'm alive i am free and that those sins that i carried I'll get to leave them at the cross every day. I don't have to carry that weight because he sent his son to die for me. And I mean, like that's just so amazing. And that everybody has that opportunity to lay their sins down and to be new and be renewed in Christ. All you have to do is just choose him. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.